welcome back everyone i hope you had a good discussion and uh wondered if we could get some uh feedback from the different groups christine would you like to uh share from your group sure we have um quite an eclectic um collection of good ideas um uh, from taking personal responsibility in our individual actions and um, also in our decisions when we buy um, anything, uh, considering that many uh, companies are polluting. Um, we talked about the importance of um, um, social action and for when we build our communities, when we uh, try to have more cohesion in our communities to also talk about climate change and the importance that everyone gets involved uh, to work for justice and that everyone's voice needs to be heard, uh, including children can do service projects. Um, there was an idea of uh, the importance of gardening um, to be more um, to have more food security um, in, the, in general. Uh, there was one specific um, suggestion to have um, senior citizens pull together to have uh, community gardenings. And um, there was another uh, sort of bringing people together in forums to discuss. Uh, one specific example was a nonpartisan partisan candidate forum to talk about these issues. Um, so, and then um, the last thing was to focus on um, spiritual uh, transformation and the importance of uh, selfless action and to see um, the world as one, that we are all one humankind and that we always need to work for the well-being of everyone. Beautiful. Thank you. Shannon, how about your group? Oh, thanks. Uh, I, I'm still listening to Christine and her feedback. That was great. Thank you, Christine. Um, well, we just, you know, we, we talked about kind of the state of water. Um, Kind of where we're at in terms of our oceans and our seas and our lakes um, and uh, just really knowing how important that is at this point in time to really know that water is life and you know how how it affects everything. Um, folks really uh, talked about kind of their individual ways of um, of looking at that and or and helping with that um, in turn in terms of educating themselves and educating others because that was and heightening um, awareness about what's happening so that people could respond. Um, and then uh, also, you know, sharing about how important it is that this is, this is the thing that we can pass on this life to future generations and how, um, how that, how critical it is that we are in a position to be able to do that because <clears throat> without, like I said, without water, there is no life. And we did talk a little bit about how um, challenging it is to uh, try to uh, disconnect all of these um, goals because while ours was talking about water under life and or un life underwater, including the coral and the fishes and all of the life, it was, you can't detach that from water, clean water and sanitation. Sure. And so just understanding how those things are interconnected. So thanks, Sue. <laughs> okay, thank you. And for our group, I think Ukoji uh, was unable to stay, but um, we did have a wonderful conversation with people from different parts of the world. And um, uh, the first thing that came up was, where are the youth in this conversation? That uh, we know that they are active and is there a way that we can uh, connect with them? 
to offer support, maybe some mentorship? Is, is there a way to work with young people? And uh, then <clears throat> it was suggested that essays and contests and quizzes and uh, things that uh, engage people in a, in a very quick, fast-paced way is going to be helpful for working with uh, young people. I think it was in, was that in uh, Zimbabwe? that uh, they have a lot of uh, activities going on. Um, we mentioned the importance of working with other groups uh, and organizations, including things like Elders Climate Action was mentioned. I'm involved in that one. And uh, the Inf Interfaith Power and Light, Green Faith, and there are others that uh, are working specifically with the faith community. And uh, we, we can, I'd love to work with uh, Wilmette Institute to really get something wonderful going in that way. Um, we mentioned things like the United Nations Association that's also focusing on all of these sustainable development goals. Uh, we yesterday had a UN Day meeting that involved uh, co-sponsors from many different organizations in the local community. So getting together with an organization of organizations is a really powerful way to work in your community. And one more thing we discussed was the uh, climate declaration. My city and county have declared a climate emergency. And so our city is kind of primed for having this climate conversation. And uh, so we do have a kind of a step-by-step -step how you can offer that to your city and county government as well. And these are the kinds of things that we're collecting and sharing through this climate collaboratory with the University of Florida. And I know our time is, is just about up, but Nikki, if you could share uh, the screen again, we do have a quick uh, video that's just one minute, and then we can close it out. I think it's just before this. In 2020, the United Nations turned 75. The world is very different today than it was in 1945. What will it look like in 2045 when the UN turns 100? Imagine the possibilities. How do we get there? We know the threats. Let's face them together. It is we children and future generations that are going to suffer the most from these consequences if we fail. Our challenges are immense. No nation can solve them alone. But together, we help. We learn. We teach. We care. We innovate. We have the passion, the fire, and the ideas to make the change. I am deeply convinced that there is no other way to deal with global challenges but with global responses. All things are possible. Shared problems, shared solutions. Join the global conversation. Let's shape the future together. Okay, so I'm going to share with you the, uh, there it is, UN75.online, and I will put that right into the chat. And you can open that right now and then take a little survey that gets your voice heard in this global conversation. And so that's one more tool that you can use to connect people in your own community, in the schools and the faith groups and uh, through your chamber of commerce, anywhere that you can uh, get that conversation going. And uh, I think that's it for today. We can close out. Oh, oh. Yes. we do have one more. And this is the, uh, again, the Florida Climate Conversation to Action Program that we're doing as a pilot project with the University of Florida Extension and their Sustainable Floridians program. And we, the world, and a growing list of community partners. So again, 
this is the idea that we're trying to make a network of all of these networks of people that are working on the same or similar issues and help them to organize themselves by these sustainable development goals. So I would like to just close with a prayer and uh, we can say goodbye. Oh my God, oh my God, thou seest me in my lowliness and weakness, occupied with the greatest undertaking, determined to raise thy word among the masses, and to spread thy teachings among thy peoples. How can I succeed unless thou assist me with the breath of the Holy Spirit? Help me to triumph by the hosts of thy glorious kingdom, and shower upon me thy confirmations which alone can change a gnat into an eagle, a drop of water into rivers and seas, and an atom into lights and suns. O oh, my Lord, assist me with thy triumphant and effective might, so that my tongue may utter thy praises and attributes among all people, and my soul overflow with the wine of thy love and knowledge. Thou art the omnipotent, and the doer of whatsoever thou willest. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Sue. And I just want to remind everyone that our next in the series will be on November 29th. That's a Sunday again at 12 noon Eastern time. And the global goals for that meeting, we're going to be looking at number three, good health and well-being. Number four, quality education. Number five, gender equality. And number 10, to reduce inequalities. So I think most of us will be back then and um, please invite your friends to join us next month. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.